I went onto Google, I typed in corporate team building games and Metalog was somewhere near the top. So that's how it happens. Your HR lady goes to Google, types in corporate team building games, really investing and thinking about what everyone would enjoy and just, yeah, they were at the top. Like literally just HR lady clicks sponsored ad and <laughs> she said it was somewhere near the top. Let's see if that's true. Mm -mm. Somewhere near the top. Near the top of page 52. It's really sad that there are so many businesses that are in business doing this. I guess it's pretty simple. You just take daycare games and then put a new label on it and call it corporate team building or collaboration or culture. And then uh, there you go, daycare for adults. Metalog tools are very well designed games. Just literally baby blocks, toddler games that companies are paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars for. For this set of blocks and a few ropes and strings, $468 as long as you brand it as Tower of Power, I guess. Or this one over here, the string ball for $216, which are you sure? What kind of team building is this? Just I'm just looking at shapes here, but like if you come down a motion card, $75, Tower of Power special, for the low price of $676, you too can act like children at work. How is this company in business? Okay, so uh, a bag of hose with some colored strings is 378 bucks. Again, are you sure this isn't? It just feels like I should blur it, but I, it's corporate team building. 418 bucks for the stack man. So a zip up bag and boards with slots. Are you serious? Team Navigator, almost $900. I think I'm gonna be sick. This has gotta be one of my uh, favorite team building videos of all time. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a boost during a typical morning meeting. Glad I work with such a fun bunch. He knows how to do it right. <laughs> And then you have these companies. Apparently they brought in this dude from the New Zealand Special Forces and they delivered a uh, blend of physical activity, insightful learning, leaving us inspired and ready to conquer new challenges. Really though, I don't know if randomly announcing we're doing group fitness is the best way to do team building. I personally prefer to get fit with myself. No, no really. It, today's video is sponsored by Copilot and his name is Coach Josh. If you've never heard of Copilot before, they combine the personalization and accountability of a human expert with the flexibility of technology. When you first sign up for Copilot, you can pick what type of coach you want, like tough love type or more of a gentle coaching. I used to be real like, come on bro, we could do it, but now it's more like, hey, give me a chance. Uh, I need a second. <laughs> Anyways, after I filled out mine, I was matched with Coach Josh. Honestly, the reason that I like Copilot and still use it is because of how realistic and how down to earth everything is there. There's no fitness fads, there's no quick transformations, they understand everyone deals with fitness in their own unique way and they adjust it accordingly. I know for me these days working out is more about utility. What can I do? Can I lift my own body weight? Am I flexible? Can I stretch? Can I do this and that? What can I accomplish? Something else that I think is cool about Copilot is that I don't have to plan my workouts anymore. Now that's all I've ever done my entire life. I thought I was getting a good workout each time but now that someone else is doing it and they're checking and tracking my growth and checking in with me, I really feel like I'm getting better workouts overall and I just show up and do what it says. But besides that and through the rough patches where I did miss a few workouts, it was nice to have that check-in at the end of the day with Coach Josh. Always nothing but support on the other end. Copilot does have equipment you can purchase from them. If you don't have any equipment, they'll still make you a customized plan for wherever you're at. On the go, at home, or even in the desert like me. Anyways, if you're thinking about working out and you know that an accountability partner might help you, then consider Copilot. And if you click my link down in the description, you'll get 14 days free. Thanks again to Copilot for sponsoring today's video. And thanks again to Coach Josh for supporting me and for those awesome Tarzan workouts. I can assure you they're better than these office workouts. This month was the anti-gravity yoga session hanging upside down. We not only challenged our bodies, but also our perspectives on teamwork, resilience, and how bad my coworkers' feet probably smell. As we floated in our hammocks, supported by the trust we have in each other and driven by our collective ambition, <laughs> it was a reminder that the strength of our team is not just in the numbers we achieve, but in the shared experiences that lift us up. Hashtag team building. So this comes from the company Salesonomics, I guess, and uh, this is a company that helps other leaders become better leaders. You know, it's one of those things. Graduates, becomes sales manager, becomes chief something, stays chief something, then graduates to board member. And now he's, you know. Anti-gravity yoga was more than just a workout for us. It was a metaphor for the innovative and agile mind. Come on, is it really? Or are you just hanging upside down? I mean, I know there could be some benefits here, but we strive to cultivate in all aspects of our work at Salesonomics. <laughs> 
In a world that keeps us on our toes, sometimes seeing things from a different angle can spark creativity, enhance collaboration, and improve overall well-being. What is the obsession with collaborating in weird ways? Here's a post from a CEO talking about a basic idea, but mostly it's just a humble brag. I learned a lot at the NBA All-Star Game. Here's one lesson Coach Doc Rivers shared with me, which is something I immediately implemented upon returning to the office this morning. This is what it is. Lately, what's been trending are these uh, just corporate cringe TikTok dances in the name of team building. We just wrapped up an off-site in Buenos Aires. Why? Because face-to-face -face beats video calls. The result? Accelerated synergy in a month's worth of progress in just a few days. Why does every company think that everyone will suddenly be best friends if you take some toothpicks, marshmallows, spaghetti noodles, and build a tower. They had to pause this activity and say, okay, camera guy, go behind there and get a real close up of our, of our marshmallow tower for LinkedIn. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and click that subscribe button if you'd like me to call out more of this corporate nonsense, usually in the name of company culture, team building or something. And be sure to share it with someone else who needs a good laugh. Oh, and thanks again to Coach Josh and Copilot for sponsoring today's video. If you use my link down in the description, you'll get 14 days free. Seriously, go sign up, get yourself a Coach Josh or someone like him, and you'll thank yourself. Having said all that, I hope everyone's doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.